Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the all new Evercade EXP. Now, if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you know I've been taking a look at a lot of these Evercade devices over the past few years, and I'm actually a big fan. One of my favorites is the Evercade Versus, or VS if you want to pronounce it like that, and basically what we've got there is just a console that you can plug into your TV. We've got two wired controllers and two cartridge slots. And these cartridges are what set these Evercade devices apart from anything else that's being released on the market nowadays. And I completely understand that this is still a little bit of a niche market, given that we have to buy cartridges to add more games to our handhelds in 2022 and 2023, but I've been enjoying collecting the carts and the hardware that Evercade has to offer. So in this video, we're taking a look at their brand new Evercade EXP. Basically, everything's been upgraded on this from the original Evercade. We've got a better screen, better CPU, more internal storage, more RAM, and we've even got Wi-Fi built in for over-the-air updates and possibly a software center. So straight out of the box, uh, this thing definitely has a little bit of heft to it. It feels like it's going to be built a lot better than the original Evercade, but I'm going to tell you the truth. I like the design of the OG Evercade over this one much better, and it might just be the color scheme, so a skin could help this out. Now, obviously, these Evercade devices run on cartridges, but the new EXP does come with 18 preloaded Capcom games. There's actually some really awesome stuff in there. And with the first boxed edition of the EXP, they're also including the IREM Arcade 1 cart, which comes with R-Type, Moon Patrol, In the Hunt, Battle Chopper, Lightning Swords, and 10-Yard Fight. And since, you know, it says Arcade right on the box here, these are the Arcade versions of each of these games. Taking a look around the EXP, on the bottom here we've got dual stereo speakers, we've got a 3.5mm audio jack, USB Type-C for charging up the internal battery, our volume control, and we've also got a little battery LED indicator, plus a rotate button. Now when it comes to playing vertical games on a horizontal screen, it really doesn't turn out great. So this has a cool feature built in where all we need to do is press that button and it's gonna rotate the screen. And you know, when it comes to button layout, they thought of this also, we've actually got an extra A and B button over here. It's gonna make it really easy to play vertical games on this handheld console. Moving around to the top of the device, as you can see, we've got our shoulder buttons. We've also got triggers, a power button, our cart slot, and we've also got HDMI out on this using a mini HDMI port so we can connect this to a larger display very easily. And when it comes to specs, this is utilizing a 4.3 inch IPS display at 800 by 480. Now this is definitely an upgrade from the original Evercade. I really wish they would have went with IPS there, but they didn't. It's also got a faster processor coming in at 1.5 gigahertz, four gigabytes of internal storage, stereo speakers, built-in Wi-Fi, a 3000 milliamp hour battery, and they're claiming four to five hours of gameplay out of this, and I could definitely see that happening. 18 built-in Capcom games, and this does support the other Evercade carts. They've actually got 30 carts out there with a total of 380 games so far. And on the initial boot, it's gonna give you a little walkthrough. You will have to set up Wi-Fi on this. We also get a nice little boot animation. And uh, right now I don't have a cart installed. So, you know, as soon as we start up, it's going to show that we don't have anything ready to go. But if we move down to the EXP section, this is where those 18 built-in Capcom games are going to be. There are a few games that we can unlock. Uh, right now we know of five. I've got two of them unlocked. Pretty cool little feature. I've always loved this with the Evercade devices. And we've got this Evercade coming soon section. Uh, hopefully we do get some online features with this. I think it would be pretty awesome. But heading back to the Capcom section, we've got 18 games that we can choose from right now with no car installed. So when it comes to the arcade games, we've got 1942, 1943, 1944, Bionic Commando, Captain Commando, one of my favorite games. We've also got Commando, Final Fight, Forgotten Worlds, Ghouls and Ghosts, Legendary Wings, Mercs, Street Fighter II Hyper Fighting, Strider, and Volgus. We've also got some 8 and 16-bit games from Capcom, Mega Man, Mega Man 2, Mega Man X, and Breath of Fire. Now heading down to the settings, we've got a lot of stuff that we can mess around with. I'm actually going to connect this to my game capture so we can get a better look at it, but there's some awesome stuff here when it comes to customization, scan lines, and things like that. We do have system-wide sounds and music, and going down to the bottom here, we've got a secret code menu, which could unlock a few features here and there. But other than that, from the settings, credits, legal and support, system, language, accessibility, network, sound, theme, and display. Starting off with theme here, we can change the overall theme of the handheld itself. We've got a couple to choose from, blue and gold, dark, 
Evercade EXP, which just happens to be my favorite right now, Evercade Grid, and Light. Now, display is going to come in really handy for people who want to get a different look. From the aspect ratio, we've got our original ratio, pixel perfect, which will take each game to its uh, intended aspect ratio, and we've also got full screen. Definitely not recommended, but it's here. It'll just stretch everything out. We've also got a few scan line settings, and I'm going to tell you right now, both of them look great, but on a larger display when I'm connected over HDMI, I prefer the strong scan lines. On the built-in screen, I prefer the subtle scan lines. Just personal preference there. You can go with whatever you want. We've also got bezels just to fill up that black space on the side. And there's also a dedicated tape bezels area. And in tape mode or rotate mode, these bezels are going to be on the top and bottom for these vertical games. They've also added an option so we can add scan lines to the whole system. Now, this is really just for the menu. You can disable them or enable them. Personally, when I'm in the menu, I just have them off and use those subtle scan lines on the built-in screen in-game. Uh, since we have Wi-Fi built in, we can do updates over the air. Right now, I'm fully up to date, given that this is just an earlier unit here. But overall, I mean, I think they've added a lot here. And uh, with those updates, we will see more come to this handheld. And by the way, when the EXP is connected to an external display, it's going to output 720p. And it still looks great, even on a larger screen. Okay, so with that out of the way, I wanted to talk about overall performance. We've got a 1.5 GHz quad-core CPU, and it's capable of running all of these games at full speed. The arcade versions run absolutely amazingly. I mean, if you want to go with the SNES stuff, it works great. Haven't had any kind of slowdowns or anything like that with everything that I've tested. But the first thing I really wanted to show off was their rotate mode. They actually call it tape mode, which I guess is short for rotate. We'll go with 1942 because this is a vertical arcade game. Now, uh, on a horizontal screen, doesn't look great. I mean, we don't have a lot of space to work with here, but pressing that tape button right there will rotate the screen, and now we can actually use the D-pad and the extra A and B buttons to play these vertical games on the handheld. And since the release of the original Evercade, I've been a big fan of their D-pad here. It works like a D-pad or kind of a joystick because obviously we're going to be able to play arcade games on this. We've got a really nice circular motion here when we want to kind of use it as a joystick or when we want to use it as a D-pad for fighting games. It's actually really accurate. Next thing I wanted to do was just demonstrate this with Street Fighter 2 for you. With this game here, I'm in pixel perfect mode with subtle scan lines on, and I think it looks great. But yeah, I mean, this D-pad does give you the movement you need to pull off these special moves. And so far, with the original Evercade, the Evercade Versus, and this, I've had a really good experience with the D-pad they chose to use. Checking out some cart usage. Remember, this does come with the iRim Arcade 1. We've got six extra games here, and uh, basically, we're just going to go ahead and insert it. It'll pop right up for us. Now we've got those extra games, and we can start them directly from the main menu. And uh, again, you know, just running from the cart or internal storage, you're not going to see any kind of performance loss or anything like that. And for the games that we can play on this, we've got more than enough power to play everything that they offer at full speed. And the last thing I wanted to mention, at least for this video, was with every single game, be it on a cartridge or built-in storage, we can uh, start it up, we can press the menu button, and from here we can actually change our bezels, we can change the scan lines, and I think the most important part here are save and load states. So with something like Mega Man X, instead of having to put your code in, all you need to do is set up a save state, we've got six per game, and we can load right back to where we were. Overall, it's definitely a welcome upgrade from the original Evercade. We've got a better screen, better sound, and some people do like this form factor a little better than the original, but I personally like that old red Evercade look. Uh, the original one just looks so awesome to me. This one's just kind of plain Jane White, and maybe we could get some skins down the road. But for what it is, it does work out really well. And again, I know this is kind of niche, especially in 2022, 2023, but I've already got a bunch of carts from the old Versus and the uh, original Evercade, and all of them will work with the new Evercade EXP. So I've got my collection going here, and I've already got a ton of games that I can play on this device. 
So if the Evercade EXP is something that interests you, I'll leave some links in the description. And you know, if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll be keeping uh, you guys up to date, at least on my community feed, if I find any more codes for secret games, or if we get any major updates for this unit. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. And like always, thanks for watching.